Hi everybody, it's me, Sandy, your hairy grandma. And we are here today, um, I'm sitting here in front of my wig window, in my wig window studios, as I call it. Um, plenty of sunlight in Tennessee today, gonna be about 85 degrees. And I thought that I would do a review of a beautiful John Renault wig called Zara. Um, Zara is in the beautiful color Flurry. Now, to me, Flurry is a gray mixture of, of dark rooting grays, and then it has like a lavender hue to it. Uh, it is from John Renault's Smart Lace Collection. The style is Zara, and this color is this beautiful color is Flurry. Now, Zara is a 100% hand-tied monofilament uh, top, okay? So that means that all of this has been hand-sewn, and what that does is that allows you to have a realistic uh, part, whether you do it left, middle, right, or somewhere in between. It will look like scalp. It will look like it's growing out of your head. That's the point of this hand-tied monofilament uh, top. Then it has the silicone piece that runs right here. That silicone piece helps this wig to adhere to your head. And then it has a lace front. This one happens to be um, ear, ear tab to ear tab, because there's your ear tabs, lace front, which makes it look like a, uh, it's growing out of your head in the front if anyone were to see that part. Um, it has the velvet ear tabs. It has the long extended velvet nape pull tabs. If you release these pull tabs, you can get about an extra half an inch for a larger circumference, and if you tighten it up to the middle, you can get uh, this wig to fit a petite, which is about 19 and a half. She is open wefted, which is wonderful, especially with the hot weather coming up. It just lets the air get through, and it is it just keeps your head cooler. Um, now, let me tell you what I do, okay? I simply wear the regular, what I call the pantyhose burglar cap. Um, they're very reasonable. I buy mine from, Rene, uh, those are Renee of Paris brand. I buy mine at twistedwig.com. Um, and so, same as I buy my wigs right now. Uh, this particular wig was, is from twistedwig.com. It was sent to me to do this review. Um, and I am not a paid affiliate. I am not a brand ambassador. I am simply a person who does wig reviews, um, and Twisted Wig has, um, co has worked with me, and we work together to, for me to review, uh, wigs for Twisted Wig. Um, and if I choose to keep this wig, then I get first choice, and I love that, because a lot of times they will get one wig in, and then they, you're on, you're on pre-order. So I get the advantage of having the wigs um, first, which I love. And if I choose this wig, then she invoices me, and I pay my invoice, and I keep the wig, and it's mine. And I love having that first choice. It's just a little bit of an extra um, incentive for me to, uh, I love reviewing wigs. I would do it anyway, but that is just um, the arrangement that she and I have. Um, so I want you to know that this is, even though she has sent me this wig to review, I'm an independent reviewer. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of this wig, 100% um, honest. Um, I have no, um, what is it, uh, skin in this game, I guess, right now. Um, I will have to say that I, I'm simply in love with this style. I love the layering, how it goes down, and it, the density on this wig is low. Very low density, which makes them so much easier to wear. Even the longer ones I can wear. As you can see, uh, because of this layering that they have put in this wig, um, it is very, very low density, easy to wear and cool. Now, let me tell you what I do when I take a wig out of, of the box for the first time. Okay, they Sometimes the wigs will come wrapped in netting, okay? And that netting will be wrapped in there and you'll have your little thing and you undo it, um, okay? Sometimes they will be turned inside out, depending on the manufacturer, and even the same manufacturer will box them differently. And the wig will be laid in there with a netting on the inside and then part of this will be attached with long 
bobby pins, okay? So, uh, sometimes the wig will be attached with long bobby pins turned this way. Um, it just, it, that doesn't mean that the, if you get a wig and it's, it's different than what you normally open it up, it's okay. That doesn't mean the wig's been worn. It just means that the manufacturer basically packed that wig a little differently. So I do want to mention that. Okay, so when I first get the wig out of the box, whichever way it is, I normally take the wig and I turn it kind of up, not up, upside down and I grab the nape, never the lace. Don't ever, don't ever grab that lace. Um, you have to be very careful with that lace, okay? You don't want the hair to start falling out. And I just shake the wig and I wake up those fibers and a lot of times I'll just run my fingers through it like this. If it's a heat friendly wig, it will really spruce up those fibers. Now Zara is John Renault's uh, smart lace collection. She is not um, heat friendly, which means you don't put a curling iron or a flat iron or anything to her. Um, they are, this is high quality, regular synthetic fibers. Um, and I don't think that this wig would need to have anything done to her. She is simply that well done. Okay, so a lot of times when you get them out of the box um, where they've been jostled, they can also be staticky and they can have some tangling in them. And that's normal. Now, personally, there's lots of products out there that you can use for that. I mix up my own mixture. I find that with the synthetic wigs especially, it works really, really well. Also, the heat-friendly synthetics. It is, uh, I use a bottle, fill this up with bottled water. I leave a little bit of room in the top, and then I add two tablespoons of my favorite fabric softener, which is Gain. I love Gain fabric softener. And I shake that up. And that's what I use on my wigs. And when they come out and they're staticky, I spritz them. Okay? Just like this. You see me spritzing this week. Do not put the fabric softener, conditioner, or anything up here on this lace front. Do not do that. You can actually soften those fibers to the point that they will fall out. And you never want that. So be very careful with your lace front. And then I just take my fingers and start running it through the wig. Now, um, sometimes... Um, there will be tangles that you need to use your comb. I never use anything, even though there are people who will rave and tell you that br there's certain brushes work wonderful on these wigs. I never take a brush to my synthetic or heat-friendly synthetic wigs. I use a wide-tooth comb. Um, I have found that uh, brushing them can pull the fibers out. Uh, using a hairbrush can also cause the curl to, to, to uh, loosen too much. So, I stick with the wide tooth comb. Now, Zara has a beautiful, uh, darker, uh, really dark brown um, rooting. Okay? And then she goes down into this beautiful, silvery, gray, lavender-hued uh, color that is absolutely stunning. How do I put my wigs on? Okay? I turn, I grab them on each side of the nape. I bend my forehead down. I put the lace front on my forehead. I pull it back here. Then, when I get the wig on, I very gently put it up to my hairline. Okay? And that is how I unbox them and, and put my wigs on and what I use. Um, you will find a lot of times that these monofilament tops, the, the caps are larger. That is definitely true with Zara. This cap is large. I will have to adjust it to fit my petite to average head. Um, so I would definitely be comfortable in saying that this would actually probably fit a large, large up to 23 circumference just from what I am seeing with it. Um, like I said, Zara is a non-heat friendly synthetic fiber. She has these beautiful curtain bangs going down into all this gorgeous layering. Um, let's let you look at her all the way around. I'm going to turn my chair. I hope you can see her. This is Zara in the color Flurry from John Renault. And I'm going to tell you, she is simply stunning. She is lightweight. She is comfortable. She, um, even though the bangs kind of fall down a little bit, they don't flop in your face. But if they did, it's a very easy fix. You just take some setting spray pin this back overnight, release it, and you should be fine. You can find this wig at twistedwig.com. This is the beautiful Zara by John Renault in the color Flurry.
Peace out, everybody, from the Harry Grandma.